in different places. People don't know how to toast or roast the perfect pumpkin seed. So, this, so how do we do it? Well, this is the show of substance, and we will mm -hmm. tell you about it on our website. Ah, mm -hmm. Look who is joining us now. Tubbs bringing into our Zoom Secretary Hillary Clinton. Hey, Ryan. I, I just heard about pumpkin seeds. I yes. need that. Well, listen, <laughs> I, I don't know. Are you good at carving the jack-o'-lantern? I, I, I'm okay. I'm not great. I have a very basic face that I put on. How about you? <laughs> I only go for the seeds. I'm a foodie, and so for me, it's all about toasting the seeds in the toaster oven. Yeah, and so how long? Well, you're going to send us directions I'm, about I'm how to do send that. It, I'm going to send you. Everything's <laughs> on the website. Uh, <laughs> Secretary Clinton, it's great to have you on. It's great to see you. We've been excited to have you in today, and there's, there's so much to talk about. I was thinking about this last night, having the chance to speak with you and have everybody here in L.A. and across the country listening. When you look back at family, at career, at all the different things over the years and the wisdom gleaned, is there a lesson that you think about that is most valuable and most used in your life looking back that would be good guidance for us? Oh, Ryan, wow. I, I do have a long, long list of lessons, but probably the one that I think about most uh, is my, my mother's constant uh, admonition that you know, everybody gets knocked down in life. Everybody gets disappointed. Everybody has problems. And the real challenge is whether you get back up and keep going. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that applies to any life. I don't know any life that uh, hasn't had its ups and its downs. And so I think about that. And I, you know, told my daughter that. I tell my grandchildren that. I, I really think about it practically every day. And it's hard sometimes, right? It's, it's something to think of. It's hard to execute, especially now so many people going through a lot of tough stuff. What do you say to them? It is hard. It, and, and I think all you can do is to try to help people understand that it's okay to be disappointed and discouraged and frustrated. And in a time of COVID and economic problems and everything we're going through, that's a really common experience. Mm -hmm but that you have to try to, even if it's just baby steps, try to get yourself back going, uh, get out of bed, <laughs> you know, That's go for a, these days. <laughs> yeah, go for a walk, toast pumpkin seeds. I mean, right. do something that you feel like, okay, it's moving me back into a kind of more active uh, life where I can take a deep breath again, I can get back at it. Now, I, I was looking at uh, some of the math, and I think it's okay to say this because it was in print in a lot of places that you and uh, President Clinton have spent 45 years together or something in that neighborhood? 45 years married, yes. 45, 45 years. Five years. Uh, That's older than you are, Ryan. I am 45. <laughs> I am unmarried. You can give me advice on that in the next segment. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm curious, when the two of you get a chance to sit around the table and talk what, what is the talk like? What, what, and it, and it, maybe it's not serious. Maybe it's fun and it's escapism conversation, but what is it like? It's everything. I mean, part of the, you know, the real benefit of being with somebody for so long and knowing uh, him so well is we talk about everything. Uh, we obviously talk a lot about our grandchildren. That's mm -hmm. one of our favorite subjects. We talk a lot about, as you might guess, politics, the upcoming election, uh, talk about the people we've known. I mean, we're at that age where you know, a lot of our friends have had setbacks in their health or passed away. I mean, we talk about, you know, what's, uh, you know, what's coming up in our lives. Um, we talk about uh, the programs we watch, you know, or listen to. Uh, we we know really about that. Wait, which cable, yeah, yeah, like which cable news streaming? network do you watch? <laughs> um, we watch uh, either MSNBC or CNN. Okay, that's what you watch on cable for news. What do you watch that's mindless? Uh, we we watch mindless stuff all the time. Now, Bill watches an enormous amount of sports. Uh -huh. I thought he was going to go crazy when there were no sports early in the <laughs> pandemic. You know, now at least he's, I mean, he watches golf. He watches hockey. He watched the basketball tournament. Yeah. He even watches that game where, you know, they throw bags into holes. The, oh, yeah, have uh, you ever uh, seen uh, that? Yeah. Cornhole. 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 The cornhole, yeah. I he mean, there was, a, uh, there was a, I walked in one day and he was watching a tournament where guys were competing for the <laughs> cornhole championship. Uh, so we watch a sport. lot of sports. We watch a lot of documentaries. We like documentaries. Yeah. I um, also watch, you know, I watch more current stuff than he does because he, he's so occupied with sports. 
Um, so I watch a lot of, you know, like Social Dilemma, which was on Netflix, or The Crown, which I adore, uh, or uh, Mrs. Maisel. I mean, I love those, in, uh, those really great drama, comedy kinds of approaches, as well as documentaries. Uh, Secretary Clinton is on with us. Let's take a quick break and come back. She's got a popular podcast. Now, you are doing the question asking on this podcast. Let's get to that next. Secretary Hillary Clinton. Uh, last time you said I could call you Hillary, so Hillary. Yes, please, Ryan. Um, you know, the, <laughs> the, the, the podcast that you've got on iHeartRadio, uh, we are part of the iHeartRadio group as well. Tell me how you decide who to have on and what to ask. And how is it asking the questions for you? Actually, I love asking the questions because I've been, you know, the person being asked for so many years. And I'm really curious about, you know, what other people are thinking and doing or, or what uh, their challenges are. And uh, I was uh, approached about doing a podcast and I, you know, thought about it, but I, I didn't really make up my mind until, you know, the pandemic struck. And I thought, wow, everybody's at home. People are looking for things that are going to be entertaining or informative. So am I. And therefore, I think uh, this is the time. So we started it, uh, you know, started recording episodes in my attic, nothing like a fancy studio. Uh, we are up there with the rain. Sometimes you can hear in the background hitting the roof. And it's been great. I mean, I've, I've talked to all kinds of people. I, you know, I've talked to John Legend and Stacey Abrams about voting. And I've talked to Tan France about, you know, kind of cleaning up my act uh, and wearing nicer sweatpants. Uh, so I really talk about all kinds of things that I'm curious about. And I, I came up with the title because I don't know about you, Ryan, but you know, lots of conversations going back and forth and people would say, can you believe this? Or I can't believe that. I'd say, yeah, you and me both. And right. then when I was right. looking for a title, I thought that's it. That's how I feel. You and me both. And they got people right. saying that all over the country. Um, <laughs> now, when uh, I was just thinking about when you're hearing the rain coming down and <laughs> yeah. the podcast and Bill's watching Pickleball on TV in the background. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's her <laughs> podcast. Is it more comfortable for you to be asked? Listen, when I go on someone's show and I'm a guest, I'm terrible because I end up asking questions to them because I am not yeah. good at answering them because I'm so used to asking them. How is it for you to be asking the questions now? It, it really feels comfortable. I like it a lot. And you should come on my show sometime and I'll, I'll ask you a bunch of questions. Now I'll because, ask you more questions. Because literally, well, I mean, we could go back and forth like pickleball. We can yeah, go back yeah, and true. forth asking questions of each other. But I, I, like, for example, if, if this, this were my podcast and, and I was, I do not know how you fit everything you do into your day. I mean, I, I don't get it, Ryan. I mean, really, you know, you and Kelly, you know, American Idol, your radio program. I mean, you, I do a podcast or two. I tape them and they go, whoa, I'm exhausted. okay, <laughs> I'm down for the day. <laughs> I, I have an amazing group of people around me. And, you know, Hillary, we built everything in one space. So the television studios are above me and the radio oh. studios in the basement. And I take about 20 seconds to go from one to the other. And yeah, I don't prepare for any of it. That's a little secret. We just do. We just do it. We just go just on. Just turn the, air. the mics on. Just turn the mics on and go. <laughs> you know? you I like that. You prepare. <laughs> we, we don't really. As you can tell, we're not that well prepared. Is this me, uh, anything you want to ask, Secretary Clinton? Yeah, no, I'm just like, have you just been enjoying your grandchildren during this quarantine? Do you think that, that you found more time to spend with them because of it? Oh. A hundred percent. I mean, I think despite all of the anguish and, you know, the pain and loss and suffering that we've seen and many people have gone through, for us, there is that silver lining because um, once we began to quarantine, which was what, back in mid-March, uh, they came out from the city. They live in, in New York City and, you know, they're living uh, with us, you know, living next door to us. And so we get to see each other every day. We've had lots of fun this summer. And uh -huh. I know I would never have gotten that kind of concentrated time uh, with my granddaughter, who's now six, and my two grandsons, who are four and one. And watching them grow up and deal with, you know, this kind of strange reality that we're all in has been just a joy. There, there's a silver lining in that, isn't there? What do yes. they call you and Bill, the grandkids? They call me grandma, and they call Bill Pop Pop. Pop Pop? Pop Pop. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. All right. Well, check this out. The new podcast, You and Me Both, with Hillary Clinton, is on iHeartRadio. You can get it there. Nice to see you. Thank you for taking the time to come on. 
Ryan, I want you to come on my show so I can ask you questions. I'll look forward to it. Have your bookers sorted out. I'm in. Okay. Take care of yourself. Thanks, everybody. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. That was great. Uh, I'm so nervous to be a guest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>